Hello everyone, and love your film, sir. And uh, I know it's been a while since my last upload, but I need a little favor to ask some of you. So, my good friend Thomas and James's channel is only three subscribers away from hitting 500 subscribers. And he promised me when he hit 500 that he would do a Tommy collection video. And I really want that collection video. So, uh, yeah, get into 500 so I can get that collection video. Please, I beg you. Please, please. Well, I guess it's finally time to return the favor. So before we start, I just have to say a few things. First off, this is my first ever collection video. So if it goes badly, I'm sorry. Second of all, if you're wondering why some of the engines still have their rolling stock attached to them, it's because of how they're going back into storage, hence the play roll boxes sitting over there. So let's start with all my Thomases, shall we? So first off, we have what I would call Gen 1 Tommy Thomas. It's the one with the molded face that when you scratch it, it shows the black plastic. These are in the okay condition. This one is broken. All of them are broken, but yeah. They're Thomases. Next up, we have five Gen 2 Tommy Thomases, two of which are very special. First up, we have this one, which is basically my first three Tommy Thomases Frankenstein together in one that actually looks good and works pretty well, honestly. So, yeah, this one is pretty special. Next up, we have the Thomas, which, uh, yeah. This is the face I use for TNJ shorts. I basically go up to the playground model. Come on, buddy. There we go. And I just plop. And uh, yeah. Now we have an actually good looking Thomas, in my opinion. You, uh, you can stay there. And these three, yeah, they're just, they're just extras. Next up, we have the Hit Toys Thomas. It's just the Tommy Thomas with a slightly different face. And, and lining and possibly No, did it? Oh, oh wait, your face is also loose? All right uh, Yeah, this one has lining now that's all next up we have yes We already talked about it the play rail model in my opinion. This is almost a perfect Thomas Except for the face. I don't like the face. It looks too weird for me. That's why I switch it out. And he comes with Annie and Clarabelle, and they're basically exactly the same as the Tommy ones. So yeah, cool model. Next up, we have the flip face Thomas. Sadly, I don't have the remote, but I can still, let's see if I can flip his face. So yeah, that, that is all. Also, the van he came with looks pretty cool. Next up, we have one of, if not my favorite model in my entire collection, the 2005 Tommy Special Edition Steam Along Thomas. And yes, he works, but he didn't come with the pipette, so it's a very, it's a chore to fill him with water. I don't even care that he doesn't have the white paint on his run, running board, everything about him, it's just amazing. The more accurate Annie and Clarabel, Clarabel with the unique faces, the fact that his face is also unique and cool looking, his sparkly blue paint, I wish they had also done his wheels with the same paint, but uh, I can live with it. So yeah, amazing model. Then a downgrade. This is a 2012 Thomas, I think. No, it's 2009. Yeah, this is just Thomas. I think this, yeah, this one is battery. I don't really care about this one. It just exists in my collection. Then we have what started this entire obsession my revolutions thomas after i got this one i originally wanted to buy more revolutions but then i was like why don't i just buy tommy engines instead and that's what led to me having this one i also tried to do that one leokin video modification by giving him uh, uh, the dredged hole inside of him which eventually broke him but yeah it's the 9 volt battery mod he did go very fast for a very short time until the soldering broke and he, he's now unusable. So yeah, that, that he just sits there. Next up, we have the revamped Playrail Edward. The only reason I had, I have this one is because I bought it off of Amazon 
and the listing stated that it was the original Playroom Edward. But you can obviously see this is not the original Playroom Edward. I got my money back, so despite the taxes that came, the import tax, I basically got this Playroom engine for free. And despite the redesign and the fact that this paint, his white running board paint go, doesn't go all the way back here and his proportions are shit, I don't hate him. I'm not going to use him in videos because I like to be consistent, but uh, he's okay. He doesn't have this weird much though, but his face is adorable. And he also came with a troublesome van. And for some reason, it's the one from Big World Big, Big Adventures. Yeah. By the way, I just remembered, I never showed Clarabelle's face. Well, she looks bored. Beautiful. Next up, we have an awesome model, my Playrail Henry. It's just a beautiful model, that's all. He comes with a troublesome truck and a troublesome van. And yeah, the Henry. Overall, an awesome model. Next up, we have a Tommy Gordon, which is in okay condition. He has chip buffers. His, I tried to paint his running board, but it's... Uh, yeah, that needs to be redone. I did it so he would look good next to the player Earls, but uh, yeah, we'll get back to that. But yeah, Tommy Gordon, I have two of these. The second one we will come back to, including the two that were made, that remains to create this guy. Then we have what I would call Gen 1 James. Gen 1 Tommy James, that is. This is not my first one, but this is the one with the molded face, and that's everything about him. It's James. This is my actual first James, and he, uh, also not much to say about him, except I wish I made more videos with him. And he lost a bit of his eyebrow paint when I, for some reason, took him on vacation. Then we have another one of the, oh yeah, Gen 2 James. And this one I bought specifically to customize one day, but I don't know if I'll ever do that. He does have a chipped have but that can be fixed really easily not much to say about that one next up we have i think this is a hit toys james yeah it is hit toys james he came in a lot i bought his tender is loose so he sadly doesn't work and his tender is covered in what i would call disgustingness but yeah it's a hit toys james and i have him and i love him he also has a slightly different face and for some reason the plastic feels a bit cheaper I don't know. Next up, we have another favorite of mine, my Busy Bee James, or how I should say my second James. Oh, I love this one so much. The paint is awesome. He's a bit, it's a bit weird. I know it's just a gag from an episode, but I love him so much. In my opinion, he rivals my other James, the Playroll James, in which one I like more. And yeah, the Playroll James. What can I say? The best version of James ever made next to that one. Yeah, so much detail, looks great. He has two pieces of rolling stuff, a tar tanker, which is pretty cool, and also a uh, troublesome van as well, like Henry. So yeah, that's James. Next up, we have two Gen 1 Percy's, the one with the molded face again, one of which I got in a lot, another one I got in another lot. So yeah, cool. Next we have the Playrail Percy, which is always awesome. He comes with a soda fuel tanker and a troublesome truck. Unlike Thomas, uh, let me just roll Thomas up here. Percy has a molded lamp and Thomas has a sticker lamp. Even though looking from the, their boxes, they're from the same era. Yeah, that's a cool thing to a uh, cool piece of unique design in Percy. So yeah. Thank you, Percy, for showing your, uh, your ass. Next up, we have my, my first Percy, which is the Mattel 2009 Percy. I still love this one. I wanted this one because his face is really goofy and I like it. I'm very nostalgic for this one because of Leo Kim Video's review of the 2009 Mattel models. So yeah, he does run. I use him in a couple of videos and now he's in retirement. Next up, we have the Mattel Talking Percy, which no, sadly doesn't have batteries which is probably a blessing in disguise, or else I would probably get copyright striked by Mattel for the stupidest shit ever. He is very slow and weak, I've realized. He has trouble getting up slopes. 
and he, he he can't pull shit. This is basically just to have a talking engine, which is always cool. I got him with the steam along Thomas, by the way, which is nice. Next up, we have the least interesting Percy, which is the Revolutions Percy. The only reason I got this is because I was in Turkey and I got this one for five bucks, which was pretty nice. That's his box, by the way. Oh, it's not Revolutions, it's motorized. He comes with a disgusting male van, which looks stupid. So yeah, that's Percy. Now going all the way around here, we have... We have Toby! Ah yes, the player of Toby. Also an awesome model, a bit weird that his wheels are grey, but I think it's a unique enough touch that I can live with it. He comes with, of course, his wife Henrietta, and with a truck. So yeah, nice going Toby. Sadly his bell isn't painted though, so you know, Toby is Toby. Next up we have Emily, and fun fact, this is the first time Emily has been out of her box. She comes with this uh, brake fan, which I did take out of the box because it's a really Really good looking brake fan for videos. Oh, that's my watch. Oh, I love this big wheel. It's so cool. But yeah, Playboy Emily, also an astounding model. It's so beautiful. Although I do think her tender is a bit big. Is that fat shaming? No, oh, I don't care. Enjoy the breathing, Emily. You're going back into your box in a few. Next up, we have the Mattel Duck. Which, sadly, when I bought it, I didn't realize that it, he didn't have his wheels, his middle wheel. So maybe I could take one of my uh, Thomas's, take out the middle wheel and paint it and stick it underneath Duck. I think he would be happy with that. If I'm gonna use Duck in my series, in the, sh in the shorts, I would probably like to get a Tommy Duck instead. But if I have to, this duck suffices. He has a painted face, which is always, always nice, although it's a bit creepy. But yeah, duck is duck, and duck is nice. Next up, we have Donald. Sadly, I only have one of the twins, but yeah, Donald is very simple. I love his face. His face is really nice. He looks good, but he's very simple, and I don't have much to say about him. His traction tires are also, like many, completely dry and useless, but he runs, and that's important. Fun fact, we'll get back to Donald when we get to another character, because there's something interesting about Donald. Next up, we have two more elusive models in my collection. My two Tommy Olivers. Yeah, I got these in a lot. I mean, in a lot with these three Thomases, actually, so I'm pretty happy with these. I don't get why these are rare, because I see them everywhere. I got these for so cheap, it's not funny. Um, I think the Tommy Oliver is decent. Decent at best. I think his proportions are pretty staggering. Like, he's too fat, in my opinion. His funnel is too short. Like, you give Oliver, which is known for having a long funnel, a tiny funnel, funnel, but you give engines like Duck, Emily, and James long funnels. Like, it's just weird. I do like his side rods. His side, his side rods are very unique. I wish I could compare them to Edward, but you know, I don't have an Edward yet. That one doesn't count. But yeah, that's Tommy Oliver. Next up, we have the Mattel Stepney, which I think is beautiful. He's missing a screw. I love his red side rods, they're very unique. For some reason, I think they're thinner than the other engines, but, uh, you know, I don't mind, because it's Stepney. His face looks good. Maybe a bit chubby, but yeah, no fat shaming here. And yeah, his stickers are very off. I don't think that's because of sun fade. I think the stickers were always, even on the Tony one, were a bit weird. But yeah, that's uh, Stepney. Oh wow, you're a bit rear heavy, aren't you, Diesel? But yeah, here is the Tony Diesel. Uh, I think he's cool. He's simple, like Donald, but simple in a good way. He has uh, the same issue as uh, Tobias over here. With the chip nose, because Jesus Christ, Diesel. That's a big nose. Diesel's Diesel. And Diesel is, uh, nice. Next up we have Mavis. Now Mavis looks 
also looks really good. Her face is very accurate. The texts on her sides are really cool. I love all of her hazard stripes. Although my Mavis sadly has an issue. Yeah, she had a cog which was split for some reason. So when she ran, she would either not run and had that clutch problem where she, when you put any force, she would just not move or she did clack, 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 clack while running. So I think I took it off. So now she runs, she runs fine. But yeah, that's Mavis. Now we're going to have to grab Donald again because when I got Donald, I got him with the flip face Thomas, by the way. When I got Donald, his motor did not work. He did not run at all. It was dead. So I tried to find a uh, a donor because I really wanted Donald to be able to run because it was one of my few tender engines I had. So I originally started looking at Gordon over here, but for some reason, Gordon's motor did not fit. So now I looked at another model I had, which was Salty. And for some reason, these two have the exact same motor. So I switched them out. So Salty doesn't work now, but Donald, does. So that's nice. Thanks for the donation, Salty. But let's get back to Salty. Salty is really good. Like, really good. For some reason, he's part, a part of the few Tomy models that actually have painted faces. So that's nice. I love his hazard, hazard stripes, just like Mavis over there. His paint looks awesome. Weird. He has a smaller wheel. Like, why couldn't they have used this small wheel on the back of Oliver here? He would have been so more much more accurate but you know i digress yeah salty beautiful model nicely painted painted probably not going to use and use him anytime soon next up is lady which is also a non-functioning model i think she ran like once and then she just gave out she's really cool she is also she's also missing like the underneath part which you clip out and then uh, yeah you know you can open open her up uh I think she's really cool. Her face looks really accurate. I like her gold paint and accents. She looks a bit long and jokes aside, thick. But yeah, Lady is cool. And of course we have her counterpart, Diesel 10. I have two because I bought, I got them in different lots. They both don't work, which is sad, but I, I do really like them. Their faces are really cool. Their paint is spot on, almost spot on, maybe few details are missing but i don't care for some reason his wheels are great like toby's but you know i don't care although pinchy is a bit weird in my opinion like i like that he's there and i like that he you can open him but why is he molded into his top like wouldn't it have, have been more fun to have him like loose here like on the on the take along model so kids could be like ooh, ooh, i'm sweeping diesel 10 around that would have been a much better idea in my opinion but yeah we never got it we have this and we should be happy next up we have my i think Ma yeah mattel rosie nothing to say about rosie actually i like her that that that's all she's a bit dirty i need to clean her up she, wow she runs i see her as a stalker to this blue twit and uh, yeah that's all you can go back now we have god or shall i say proteus uh, Proteus is my only narrow gauge engine so far. I think it's the, yeah, it's the Hit Toys Proteus. He looks really good, but I don't like the narrow gauge engines in uh, Tomy, Playrail, uh, Trackmaster. I, I just don't like them. I think they're too misproportioned. Like, he looks good for what he is. I like his gold side rods a lot. And his lamp here is amazing, but it just looks so weird next to the standard gauge ones. Like, why is Proteus bigger than, Th almost bigger than Thomas? I think he actually is. Ah, oh, that's even worse. So yeah, Proteus, amazing, but weird. Next up, oh, one of my favorites, my Dennis's. I have a Tommy Dennis, which is this one, which sadly does not run. And I have my first Dennis my hit toys dennis which in my is probably next to this one and this one my favorite model like he looks so good his unique side rod his paintwork his face this red thing here the number 
I just love this tennis so much. And I've and luckily I have two. And I know knowing me, I will probably have ten in the next five years. Well, that was all the engines. Next up we have some non-rail vehicles. So I have two Berties. Bertie is cool. Yeah. Bertie. Very small, but which is good because it's proportions. Next up we have Lorry 1, which I got with Proteus. A duck and a stepness. Lorry one is also be really cool, but I would have loved to have have been able to take off this load. But I get why you can't because batteries. So yeah, that's Lorry one. His eyebrows look a bit weird. Yeah. Next up we have Elizabeth, which is my favorite road vehicle because of how much detail she she has. She has a bit of a faded face, but you know that's uh, that I can live with that. Yeah, Tommy. She runs, which is. Nice. Elizabeth, everybody. Next up, we have Jack. Hit toys, Jack. Could anybody tell me if Jack is rare or uncommon? Because I don't know. From what I've known, he was the only one that was also sold in a set. Well, I'm back, so let's continue where we left off with Jack. Like I said, does anybody know if Jack is rare or uncommon? Because the only thing I know about him is that he was released in a set with Thomas. That is all I know about him. Hit toy company Jack. But aesthetics wise, his paint looks really good. Although his proportions are a bit chunky, but you know, it's expected because he's motorized and he's kind of small. Although I don't like the molded wheels. Like they could have figured out a way to do this differently. Like, come on, it's not that hard. Maybe it is, I don't know. I think, yeah, Elizabeth had the same thing with her front wheel, but not her back wheel. But Laurie won and Bertie don't. So they, they can do it, but they just decide not to, which is kind of sad. Sorry, Jack. But yeah, Jack, cool. Next one. Bulst Road. Bulst Road? Bulst Road is a cool Tommy model. I like that he has wheels so he can actually run on flat surfaces. I like his face, it's really accurate and kind of goofy, which I like. I don't like the sticker details, but you know, you, you live with them. He has a uh, nameplate here. I don't like that he's so small, because in the episode where Percy freaking kills him, like five or six trucks plunge inside of him, but he is as big as one truck. So that's that's quite weird, but you know, Bullstrode is Bullstrode. He is cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can go with his brethren. Also, my other one is missing his nameplate stickers and a pin. Next up, we have... Jamie. It's Jamie. Jamie is... He looks very good, but he's he, he is lacking way too much paint. Oh, he's a face. He's lacking way too much paint. For some reason, he only painted his top and his engines, not even his, his tail fin and windows. And he's way too small, like compared to Thomas, like come on, that's just laughably small. But it also makes him adorable. And he also, he, uh, he's supposed to, uh, just grab his uh, pin here, you, you're supposed to click this rod inside of him if I'm correct, and he, uh, he just spins around. Whoa, yeah, I'm not like that, but yeah, that's basically it. That's Jeremy. Next up we have Harold, and the Harold is also adorable. He has better paint than Jeremy, but I think he's too squashed. Like, I get why he's supposed to be cute and stylized, but come on, you could have made him a bit bigger. That's why if I'm gonna use uh, any Harold, it will probably be the Ertz one. Let's see if I can find it. Ertz or Harold. See, it looks way better although it's a bit small compared to the engines but so is this so uh you know capiche this harold is from specifically from this piece right here it's supposed to sit on this and when an engine comes along and you uh, press start okay, maybe we can actually show it with this one which one is this one if you would put him on, it on stop and you put him in here hey he spins what fun. So yeah, that's Harold. Harold is cute. Harold looks good. Harold smiles every day. Now that we've uh, had all of the non-rail vehicles, let's go over to this. To the atrocity that is my Annie and Clarabelles. I have eight Annies, one of which I turned into a flatbed, but I 
for the life of me, don't know where it is. And... Wait, hold on. You're kidding. I have nine Clarabelles. Actually, no. I have nine Clarabelles, eight Annies. Ten Annies. And eleven Clarabelles. This, this is not normal. Well, yeah, I have those. All in varying conditions. I do find this Annie very interesting because it for some reason had a has a grey roof instead of the normal white one. Could also just be sun faded, but this one looks too dark to be actually be sun faded. So you know, cool. Next coach is my only branch line coach. Yeah, a red a red branch line coach. I wish I could get two more, but you know, n nobody's selling them. So I'm stuck with only one. You're precious, don't worry. Then we have an express coach, also only one, but you know, an express coach is an express coach. I'm not gonna. It... Yeah. Then we have a very simple, but you know, effective brake van for simple short trains. That's cool. Then we have one of my favorite pieces of rolling stock, Rocky. And this is the Rocky. If I can just turn it off. It's the one that actually... I turned them off, didn't I? It's the one that actually works. Sad life for uh, I didn't get the flatbed with him. But you know, Rocky is Rocky. He's my only breakdown train right now. He, it is a Tomy one. Cool. Very cool. And he also looks really good, especially these spinning things. Nice. We need to get some flatbeds for him. Next up, we have Soda Mail. I like the closing doors. I like the closing doors. First of all, I need to get more of these, obviously, because of Percy. But it looks very inaccurate. But for some reason, I still like it because of the stylized term. Although Mail Soda is a bit weird, but you know. It's a mail coach. Then we have another fuel tanker, but this time a different design from the one that came with Percy, which is always nice. Variation is cool. Then we have two cattle cars, one of which only has one door. So when filming, I only show this side or else it would look weird. They also have moving doors, which is cool, but they're also very simple. So, you know, oh no, boy, Harold. Next up, we have this random log car that came with Proteus. Yeah, they're kind of like these rubbery plastic, hard rubbery plastic logs in this like simple, simple little flatbed. Small but cute. Next up, we have all of my troublesome trucks and just trucks. So first of all, we have two, no, actually we have four no, I don't count you. Why not? Five troublesome vans. Then we have two Tomy troublesome trucks with some loads inside of them. Technically, I have one, two, three, four, five Tomy van, Tomy truck vans, Tomy troublesome trucks, which is nice. Then we have two Mattel troublesome trucks. One of which looks very high for some reason my guy where did you smoke then we have two black tomy trucks which if i'm correct came with salty after that we have true two i think they're the fruit trucks i think they had fruit ba baskets inside them or something sadly i didn't get the fruit but i do like the nice subtle color variation in these they're really nice next up we have two generic trucks one of which also came with proteus but what's weird is this one is Mattel, Proteus is Hit Toy Company, yeah. And this one, I think this one came with either Duck or Stepney, I think Stepney. This is just uh, Gruffy without uh, all of his paint, but you know, cool, cool to have that. Wow, I'm really reaching now. Then, for some reason, I don't know how this happened, but I have six of Diesel tents troublesome trucks. Although this one is a different tint. Like the, I know for a fact these two pairs, these two came with these, but that one came extra in a lot. So yeah, a lot of troublesome trucks. These are ladies' troublesome trucks, and I think these I want to pick, take a closer look at because I think these are really cool because of their ac their accents and their gold buffers and stuff. I get why they added these to lady because lady never pulls anything but i think it would have been cool to maybe have a go a gold dust load or something in these just to add some extra variation because empty 
purple trucks, pink, magenta. Cool, but you know, you could have done more. Then we have a real bastard, Scruffy. Just gonna grab this one as well. Yeah, I have both versions of Scruffy. Also got them with the Oliver lot over there. Yeah. They're just cool. That's all they are. I like the text. It's really accurate. I like all the details. I like his face. His face is cool. And yeah, look, it's, it's basically the same truck. Maybe the orange is a bit more uh, more pronounced, but yeah, it's basically the same truck. And then our final trucks are these two, and they're just blank troublesome trucks, or just blank trucks that came with the Tom Dennis. So yeah, those are all of the main things but i also have some non-thomas items in the form of these two this is a japanese tomi bullet train i got in a lot i think with this gen 1 james over here and some other stuff and i think it's really cool he has a bit of weight to him he looks a bit streamlined he's also very old this is from 1989. Cool. It's older than most of my it items. So yeah, bullet train. And now the final item, which is also one of my favorites, the poo train. No pun intended. The poo train came with uh, the player a lot. I unboxed a few years back, excluding all Edward, of course. I think it came originally in a set with a Ferris wheel. If I can find a, a picture, I'll put it on screen right now. Maybe it's even the same picture as from the, the unboxing video. This one, I just love it so much. The wood texture, the goofy exterior of it. The figures, I love that I have the figures. They also look really good. I don't get why one of them is a pot of honey. Well, I do, but I think it would have made, made more sense to add Piglet. Mm, yes, the form of depression called Eeyore. And of course, Tigger. Don't look too much into that word. But yeah, cool, quirky little train to add to my collection. Why not? You can go back there. And of course, we have all the boxes from a few of the trains and this guy. But that's not all, because in there on the corner, you might have spotted this inconspicuous bag. Let me just grab it. Yeah. This bag is basically what I call my parts bag or my personal graveyard. In here are a few engines or experiments which never came to be. Like this Thomas, which has two driving wheels, wheels on each side. And that actually, it actually runs pretty good. But yeah, a Gordon, which is... Uh, this Gordon was so dirty when I got him. This guy went under so much cleaning. I think I have some pictures from it as well. He was so dirty and he still feels crunchy. So yeah, that sits in the bag uh, and more Thomas pieces. One of his faces, one of their faces was actually used to create this monstrosity. Yeah. Don't ask why it has makeup on. That was for a different video which never came to be. Let me know what you think it was. But yeah, and these Thomases are this guy's brethren. So yeah. That's uh, that's all. That's my entire collection. I hope you liked it. This video ended up being way longer than I expected, but you know, the first time is never perfect. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, look at Dennis again. Just enjoy his glory. Oh, Dennis. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Now, I get to clean it up. Yay. I also just realized I haven't didn't use a mic, so the audio quality will probably be shit.